Hello from City Inc. Express. On this video I will explain how to refill a HP 28 cartridge. Our refill kit is equivalent in volume to 18 standard carts. How much would that normally cost you? We also offer an Excel version of this kit that will give you our lowest ongoing running cost per cart. Containing double the amount of ink. And is equivalent in volume to 37 standard with a typical ink shelf life of three years plus. You have plenty of time to get those prints done. There are two ways to refill a cartridge. Option one is through the label. The colored dots here show the positioning. If you rub your finger over this area and press down you will be able to feel the holes underneath the label. Option two is with no label fitted. Again the colored dots show the refill points. In the genuine carts the standard normally contains 8 ml of ink. This is what the top of the cartridge looks like under the label. If you were to remove the lid, you would see the sponges which are normally saturated with ink. This is the part that gets refilled. Place the tissue underneath the cartridge and place the blunt fill needle on the syringe. If you are refilling the cart with a label on, pierce the hole with the included pin. In the marked position here. If your cartridge has no label on, the ink can be injected directly into these holes. The standard can accept 15 mil which is 5 in each of the cyan and magenta and 5 in the yellow. When you insert the syringe, push it down then draw it back a fraction to prevent the sponge from blocking the tube. Then inject slowly in the holes shown. Giving the sponge time to soak it up. This will also minimize the risk of an overfill. Do not fill in the holes marked with a cross sign on the cartridge as there may be no sponge underneath inside. After refilling the cartridge wipe any excess ink from the top, making sure it's dry. Then place the adhesive stickers over the refill hole and smooth over with thumb or finger to create an airtight seal. With the cartridge full of ink, it just needs priming which aids ink flow. You have a clip and rubber seal which looks like this. Load the seal into the clamp with the narrow lip at the back. Then lock the cartridge in place so it's clipped in fully. If you look underneath the clamp you can see this hole. This is your priming hole where you will insert your syringe to draw out a small amount of ink and prime. It's as easy as that.